Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Linode. In today's video, we're going to check out NPM, the Node Package Manager, and see some quick and easy examples of how you go about using it. Now, if you're not already familiar with NPM, then what is it? Well, it's the Node Package Manager, and what it does for us is it allows us to install packages within our Node.js project. NPM itself includes a command line utility we could use to download packages, and the packages are actually downloaded from a repository, and that repository is going to include all kinds of packages that we can install for our project. Now, if you're curious as far as which packages are available via NPM, then you could actually go to the npmgs.com website, and right there at the top is a big search box, and in that search box, you could type a query to help find a package that might give you the ability that you're looking for. If nothing else, you could use this website right here to browse the available packages. Now, what we're going to do in this video is use Express as an example package to install. And if you wanted to view some information about that package, you could type the keyword for that package here at the top. And as you can see, we have Express listed right here. So here we get some information about the package. So if you are developing a Node.js project, then as you can see right here, there's quite a bit of information that you can utilize within the registry. Now, before we dive in, there's a question that I'm sure is going to come up in the comments if I don't mention it in the video, and that pertains to NPM versus Yarn. Which one should you use and why? Well, Yarn has actually become a very popular alternative to NPM. So you could actually use both because they pull packages from the same repository, and Yarn is actually something you're going to be seeing quite often because, well, it's popular. But one advantage that NPM has over Yarn is that NPM is the default, and it's actually bundled with Node. So if you install Node, then you have NPM as well. And also, even though Yarn is very popular, NPM is a bit more popular. So if you don't have a preference, then NPM is a good option. Anyway, what we're going to do in this video is see some examples of installing packages with NPM. So this is going to be a more entry-level video, so if you have experience with Node and you know the basics of Node, then, well, this video may not have enough for you, but there's definitely going to be other videos on this channel that'll help you advanced users out if there's not already videos on the channel. There could be. But what we're going to do today is check out NPM and see some examples of using it to install packages within a project. So let's get started. So the first thing we'll need to do is install NPM. And the recommended way to do that is by installing Node.js itself. Now there's an entire documentation page that's dedicated to just this particular topic, so I'm going to move pretty fast through this part of the video. I want to make sure that we get NPM installed as quickly as possible. So if you want more information, then you could just go through the other article that goes through how to install Node.js. That's also available on Linode's documentation pages. But what I'm going to do is use the recommended approach that actually works on the majority of distributions. I'll paste the command right here, and there it is. So what we're doing here is we are actually pulling down the install script for NVM, the node version manager, and then we're going to redirect that into bash. So I'll press enter. Now at this point, NVM is installed. I will need to restart my session in order to take advantage of it. What I'll do to keep it easier is I'll just go ahead and log out. And then I'll log back in. And now I'm logged back into my Linode instance and NVM should be installed. And to be sure of that, what I could do is type the word command dash V and then NVM. Let's see what happens. And as you can see, I did receive some output here. It shows NVM, which is telling me that the NVM command is available. And now that we have that installed, we can go ahead and continue with this tutorial. And using NVM, what we could do is install Node.js via NVM. And the syntax to do exactly that looks like this. We'll type nvm, then install, and we want to install Node itself. So I'll press enter. So now it's installing, and this doesn't take long, so it should finish pretty quickly. And it's already done. Now let's say, for example, you want to instruct nvm to use the most recent version of Node. And now that we have Node installed, what I could do now is type npm, dash v. So this is just going to check the version number of the installed node package manager. 
And as of the time of this recording, I'm on version 8.19.2. Now another thing that we could use this command for is to update the version of Node that we have installed locally. Now I've literally just installed Node, so it's very unlikely that they've released a new version in the past one minute. But if I wanted to check for a new version of Node itself and install it, then I could do so with this command right here. So it might be a good idea to periodically check for updates. Once you have Node installed, you can actually tell NVM to use the latest version of Node by running the following command. You can run NVM and then use and then Node. We want to use Node or the version of Node that we have installed locally. We've just installed the latest version, so if I was to enter this command right here, then that's going to ensure that I'm using the latest version of Node. As you can see here, the version matches. It's 8.19.2. Now what I'm going to do for the sake of this tutorial is I'm going to create a directory that's specific to this tutorial. So I'm going to call it example app just like that. We can see that directory is among the others that I have here on my local file system. So now we're inside that directory. And what we're going to do is actually initialize a new NPM project. So this is going to be a lot of fun and we'll get started with this command. So it's going to be npm and then init. It's as simple as that. I'll press enter. And for the package name, I'll just use the default here. I'll use the default for that as well. I'll just skip the description. This is just an example, but if you wanted to type a description, you certainly could do that. Default for that, and that, and that as well. I'm just going through everything here by just simply pressing enter. Is this okay? Yes, it is. As you can see here, we have a brand new file, package.json, and the npm init command creates this package.json file in the project's base directory. Any packages installed in the project are reflected in this file. So basically, the package.json file is a reflection of your project's dependency structure. But for all intents and purposes, we've initialized our project, so we should be good to go to move on to the next step. Next, what we're going to do is work through an example of installing a package with npm. So we'll type npm and then install. And what we want to do is actually install Express. And what this will do is give us access to the Express Web Application Framework. That's going to be pretty useful. Now, before I press enter, what I want to do is show you the syntax for installing a specific version of a package. We could type the at symbol and then a version number. So maybe we wanted to install version 4.17.1. Then we could do that with that command right there. But what I'm going to do is just install Express in general. I don't really care which version I'll end up with. I just want to make sure that this is installed. So I'll press enter. So as you can see here, we successfully installed Express. Now earlier I mentioned that the package.json file is going to include the dependencies for your project. So let's check out that file right now and see if anything is different. And as you can see near the bottom, we have Express. Since we installed Express, it's now part of our package and it's listed here as a dependency. So as you can see, the package.json file is up to date with what we've just done. That's pretty cool. At this point, there's some additional things that I would like to show you. And one of which is the ability to install all of the dependencies within a project in one go with just one command. Now, before we ran the npm install command to install a package, but if you run this with no arguments at all, what it's going to do is check the package.json file for dependencies and make sure that each of them are installed. I'll press enter even though it really shouldn't do anything because I'm working within the project that I'm editing right now. So any changes that I make are going to be reflected here. But if I was to download this from somewhere else, then this might be a command that I would like to run. In this case, it didn't really need to do anything because, well, I installed Express. That was the only thing that I installed. It's already present in the package.json file. But again, if I wanted to install all of the dependencies from a project that I downloaded, I could just run npm install by itself and that would take care of it for me. Now again, here's the command that we use to install Express. 
And at this point, I just want to make sure you're aware of the fact that you can install things globally as well if you wanted to. And you could do that by adding the G option, just like you see here. And if you use the G option, then the package that you install is going to be installed globally, which means system-wide. So if that's something that you wanted to accomplish, well, there's the syntax for that right there. Now, another thing that I want to show you guys is that you can uninstall a package as well. So you could probably guess the syntax for that. It's just uninstall instead of install. And if I was to run that, and then check the package.json file again, you could see that Express is no longer listed as a dependency. In fact, since there were no other dependencies, the entire dependency section has been removed. If nothing else, as you use NPM, it keeps the package.json file updated even when you uninstall a package as well. And another command that I want to leave you guys with is the npm update command. What that's going to do is check your package.json file for dependencies and make sure they're up to date. Now, on my end, I don't actually have any dependencies because I've just removed the express package on my system. But this might be a good command right here to add to your notes if you want to update packages with npm. Well, this is how you do it. Anyway, did this video help you out? If it did, then please consider clicking that like button to let YouTube know that this video was helpful to you. And also be sure to subscribe because there's some awesome content coming very soon that I can't wait for you to see. Anyway, in the meantime, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you again soon.